Do you analyze the water content of petroleum products, lubricating oils, or additives according to ASTM D6304? If your samples don't look like this, but rather like this, then direct analysis isn't an option for you. The latest version of this standard includes a method that makes water determination in problematic samples easier than ever before. The Carl Fisher Oven Method. In this video, I'll show you everything about this method and how it works. Hi everyone, my name is Lucia Meyer and I'm a product specialist for titration at Metrome. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily obtain accurate and reliable results when you determine the water content of petroleum products according to ASTM D6304. This method also works for difficult samples. Determining the water content of petroleum products, lubricants, and additives can be problematic. Samples that are highly viscous, don't dissolve in the Carl Fischer reagent, or contain substances that cause interferences can produce inaccurate results. The Carl Fischer oven method solves all of these problems. It can also be automated to run fully autonomously. Cleaning of the titration cell in between measurements is not necessary. It's the best method to analyze the water content of such samples. This is how it works. The sample is weighed into a single-use vial. The vial is then hermetically sealed. Then it is placed in the Carl Fischer oven, in our case, an oven sample processor. This allows us to analyze up to 35 samples fully automatically. What happens inside? The Carl Fischer oven heats the sample and the water contained in it evaporates. A stream of dry carrier gas transfers the water to the titration cell. There it is determined by coulometric Carl Fischer titration. If you've opted for an automated system like the 874 oven sample processor from Metrom, you can dedicate your time to other tasks while your system analyzes the samples fully automatically. The oil and any components that might negatively affect the determination stay behind in the single-use vial. This can be disposed of after the determination is finished. You can find more information in the application finder on our website. Go to www.metrome.com slash applications and search for application bulletin AB209. If you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and share it with your colleagues.